to the creative formula for the bass guitar. Today I have a great program for you. Today we're going to be looking at the G minor scale and its relationships to B flat major, to E flat major, to C minor, and also if time allows me, I'm going to be taking a look at the A um, Locrian mode against G minor. Also, before we start this program today, I want to take this opportunity to thank you for all your support and all your words and encouragement. Please continue to um, listen, um, tune in, and uh, write in via email, and also your phone calls are well appreciated. So with all that said and done, we have a great program. We're going to be looking at G minor. So let's see if we could just warm up on a couple of tunes. Now, on that G minor, what I like about G the most, it, it falls right in a comfort zone on the bass. 
right there in the middle. So let's take a minute to call out a couple of notes. Let's see what we have. We have G, A, B flat, C, D, E flat, F, then G. All right, I'm starting on uh, the third fret of the E string. Then I'm going to descend G, F, E flat, D, C, B flat, A, then G. Then if I, if I go down the neck using my five string bass, I would have G, F, E flat, D, C, then B flat, then A, then G. Now I'll take that. Then I add my correspondence. I would like to go up to the G on the 10th fret of the A string. And then I'll mirror the run or mirror the scale together. So let's try it. G, A, B flat, C, D, E flat, F, then G, then back again. G, F, E flat, D, C, B flat, A, G. Then I proceed down. G, F, E flat, D, C, B flat, A, G. Now on my five string, if I loop the two octaves together, I'll have, let me couple it. I'll, I'll have three octaves, one, two, three, um, let me see. Uh, uh, G, A, B flat, C, D, E flat, F, G, then G again, G, A, B flat, C, D, E flat, F, G, now go up, G, A, B flat, C, D, as, as high as the five. And if I come up, I have my G on the E string. And I'll loop them together. So I take my G's and I connect them. For example, if I take my G, in this case G minor, and I loop them. I like the G minor because everything is right here in my comfort zone. Getting, giving me a nice tonality. Now if I take this G and I go up to the fifth degree, let's see what we have. We have G, A, B flat, C, D, and then I do my mirror. G. A, B flat, C, D, I mirror. On the G, D to G. I get a little bounce off um, uh, G to D. As a variety, I will go in and out, back and forth from the two um, positions, um, give me different tones and diff different characteristics and color.
minor and I couple it together. So let's see if we can call out some more G's. Let's see um, how, uh, what kind of colors we have if we start from the G on the D string. It gives me a nice romantic mode. I'll go up in a linear fashion. So I, I would have G, A, uh, B flat, C, D. Then my E flat. Couplet. couple it together again. Coming on my five string, uh, I will use the, the low G to give me a nice balance. So I... I double it together. I right, couple it together. So let's see what we have if we if we um do one a piece and we go we go in and out, in and out, in and out, one a piece, one a piece. Accidental. The accidental will leave us right there in the middle. Uh, one thing I like about um, the minor scale in this case, uh, G minor, right? That we can inject color tones or chromatic tones in the middle of the scale degrees. For example, um, when we when we did our G minor, we went up, we went G A B flat C D. E flat, F, and G. I also like to add my harmonic minor when I add my F sharp. So I would have. So what goes up must come down. That means I have. My F sharp to G here, a half step. That means I have F sharp here and G a half step. Then F sharp here, then G a half step. My G is a half step up. together that's that's one accidental that at the F sharp inside between F and G also a color tone I use a lot is a flat and I use the major resolve to my G minor so if I have something in a like a like of the pattern like it gives me a lot of colors because I, I can stretch out out and I have different colors inside. In 
side that um, G minor pattern. I like to take a look at G minor and how it's applied to a walking bass line. I'll take the line and I'll look at um, this G here, and also this G here, and I'll link them together. G, F, E flat, D, C, B flat, open A, A flat, G. Then walk it again. Then I'll go across underneath to C. As I'm in one octave, I take one octave of the G and link it to the higher octave and bring it down. Take those two G's and I'll link them together. After that, I like to take the minor scale and I like to look at its relationships to its, um, uh, the fourth degree, which is C minor, and also the fifth degree in uh, also D minor. So if I, if I use a block arpeggio, I will take the block and I will block it. I will go G, B flat, D, C, uh, um, F, excuse me, uh, G, B flat, D, F, then um, C, E flat, G, B flat, then also D, F, A, C, then C again, C, E flat, G, B flat, then G, B flat, D, F. together. I can also chord it if I come up come across across the neck and also switch it. Use a rake a rake form rake it. Also I could I could um do like a fl flamingo going um thumb index and middle also
If I come across, I get a little lighter tone. Record it. Then we could take, I like to use a, a Latin feel because I have my fourth degree and my fifth degree and if I add my, my sixth degree, my E flat major. Sharp again from the melodic minor F sharp G da 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 If I, if I alternate, whatever. I like to take a look at something I call a spider walk. I'm going to take this G and I'm going to go up across the neck, establishing an augmented and a diminished pattern, giving me um, an abstract sound. Um, and I'm trying to create abstract colors. And I will take this pattern and I go down the neck. different colors and, and different transitions. If I came from this G here on uh, the G string, the high G, and I came across, it would bring me right to the octave. Right across the octave. And I come across Exercise. Also, I call this um, chop builders to, um, to create a good um, exercise to develop dexterity 
and independence in your fingers. Also, I, I like to use from the G, a chromatic pattern. And fours, almost like um, when we talked about in one lesson, we talked about something called a solo block, where, where we had fours going up. For example, if we took G, then A flat, A, B flat, and then we would couple it. In this case, we're in G minor, so we would have something like a G minor, right, triad, then we would have A flat major, triad, then um, A diminished, then B flat major again, in a solo block, so. Coupling right together with the G, so we had we looked at a spy a spider walk, and then also we try to infuse some chop builders. It's great when you have um, uh, the ability to do a, do your practice and you practice the different chop runs and different solo runs to develop dexterity. So let's see what we have. And we have the high G. Mm -hmm. 